right, so there is a post going around on Facebook that says if you um, blow up a balloon using uh, baking soda and vinegar, you make uh, dioxide gas, and that you will not have to use helium, um, but the balloon will still float. Now, in the post, it actually says to use um, three tablespoons of vinegar and one teaspoon of baking soda. We know that that's not enough. So instead, what we're going to do is we're going to add, I don't know, a couple cups. So maybe, what do you think, a cup and a half or so. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take our balloon and we're going to put some baking soda in it. I don't know quite a bit and a couple teaspoons let's go ahead and add a little bit more so we get a good mixture I would say that's probably more than a couple teaspoons there and let's uh, let's put it on the lid okay let's see if we can do this without making a mess Okay, seems to have done it, but will it float? I take that as a no. <laughs> But it inflated the balloon and uh, it was fun to do anyways. Uh, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. Check us out on Facebook. Peace. Try that again. Let's use a little bit more vinegar and a little bit more baking soda and see if we get a better uh, response. Go ahead and fill up our balloon. This time we'll use quite a bit more. Oh, okay, I think we did it. <laughs> I think that's too much. It's Okay, I think it's gonna go over. What do you think? All right, here we go. All or nothing. <laughs> oh. That was a pretty good reaction. <laughs> <laughs> well, if anything, that was pretty fun. <laughs> <laughs> For you, you won't have to clean it up. <laughs> All right. I doubt this is going to float. Okay. Let's tie it up. It doesn't. <laughs> That's definitely not going to float. 
once again, thanks for watching. Peace.